Greetings everyone, Digital Extremes have released update 31.3 and Garuda Prime Access is live on all platforms. You can get Garuda Prime, the Nagantaka Prime and the Corvus Prime by farming for the relics in game and due to the release of Garuda Prime Access you won't be able to farm for the relics of the following items as they have been vaulted. Titania Prime, Corinth Prime and the Pangolin Prime. You can however trade with other players who have those relics as the relics for those items will remain in your inventory. And with the vaulting of those items, DE have replaced the Arbiters of Hexus Sacrifice of Corinth Prime Barrel to the Astilla Prime Barrel, the Arbiters of Hexus Sacrifice of Titania Prime Neuroptics to Gara Prime Systems, New Locus Sacrifice of Titania Prime Systems to Neja Prime's Chazzy, and the Still Meridian Sacrifice of Pangolin Prime Handle to the Zutki Prime Receiver. Now, with each unvaulting, we have Riven Disposition changes. They've said the following before we get to the changes. Greetings Tenno, Garuda Prime slices away onto all platforms today and we've got a few Riven changes to help with all bloodletting and violence. A few points of order. The weapons that were released along with our last Prime Access, the Nell Prime and Scourge Prime, were found to be taking the base weapons disposition instead of starting at point 0.5. Instead of resetting their disposition of point 0.5 after already launching, they shall follow the usual procedure here on out. Since it has been a while since we've stated that usual procedure, we wanted to share these rules in a new pinned post, which you can read if you want, link in the description. In September of 2021, during Nidus Prime Access's update, we increased the disposition of the Anchoros, but in doing so also increased the Anchoros Primes accidentally. This change slipped by us and for that reason was never stated in the notes. So we have reset it back to 1.45, which is where it was before the accidental change. Thanks everyone. So, as for the Riven Disposition changes with this update, let's get into it. For rifles, the Amprex 0.8 to 0.85, the Basmu 1.15 to 1.2, Baza Prime 0.95 to 1, Catch Moon in its primary state 1.05 to 1.1, Foreman 0.7 to 0.75, Kuva Ogris 0.8 to 0.75, Kuva Quetzuk 1 to 1.05, Nadarak 0.5 to 0.55, Opticore Vandal 1.05 to 1.1, Probosa Cernos 0.6 to 0.65, Quanta Vandal 1.35 to 1.4, Scourge 1.15 to 1.2, with an offsetting error in the Scourge Prime setup. Simulor 1.2 to 1.25, Sinoid Simulor 1.15 to 1.2, Soma Prime 1.05 to 1.1, Spore Laser in its primary state 1 to 1.05, Sporothrix 1.25 to 1.3, Stolter 0.95 to 1, Tenant Envoy 0.6 to 0.65, the Tenant Flux Rifle 0 0.8 to 0 0.9, Tenant Tetra 0.85 to 1, Tenora Prime 0.9 to 1, Tiburone 1.05 to 1.1, Tiburone Prime 0.95 to 1, and the Tomb Finger in its primary state 0.9 to 0.95. For the shotgun, the Archiplasmor 0.85 to 0.9, Stiller Prime 0.95 to 1.05, Hoover Heck 0.8 to 0.85, Strun Prime 0.5 to 0.9, Tenant Archiplasmor 0.5 to 0.55. Secondary weapons, the Acarius has gone from 1.05 to 1, Aklex Prime 0 0.9 to 0.95, Catch Moon in its secondary state 0 0.5 to 0.55, the Nell Prime 1.25 to 1.05, with it recovering from an error in setup, Compressor 0 0.9 to 1, Magnus Prime 0 0.5 to 0.8, Pandero Prime 0.9 to 1, Staticore 0 0.7 to 0.75, Tenant Detron 0.75 to 0.8, Tenant Diplos 0.6 to 0.65, Tenant Spyrex 0.7 to 0.8, Vermis Blister in its secondary state 1 to 1.05, the Zatki Prime 1 to 1.05, and the Zymos 1.15 to 1.2. For melee weapons, the Anchoress Prime 1.5 to 1.45, which was, as we said before, was accidentally changed when they buffed the regular Anchoress, and they have returned it back to what it was before. The Aura Spinoza has gone from 1.1 to 1.15, Furax Wraith 1.38 to 1.3, Ghoul Saw 0.5 to 0.85, Jack Kassar 1.1 to 1.15, Karom 0.5 to 0.75, Neferi 0.5 to 0.7, Rumblejack 0.5 to 0.8, Pulmonars 1.15 to 1.2, 
Tenant Agendas 0.65 to 0.75, Tenant Exec 0.65 to 0.7, Tenant Gregory 0.65 to 0.7, Tenant Livia 0.6 to 0.65, Bernardo 0.5 to 0.85, Vertilac 0.5 to 0.75, and the Vitrica 0.95 to 1. Lastly, for the Riven disposition changes with update 31.3, Archons. Larkspur has gone from 0.95 to 1, Morka 0.95 to 1, and the Prisma Dual Decorians 0.15 to 1.2. Now with that covered, we move on to the ninth year anniversary. If you log into the game, you will receive a Wisp Dex skin. You also earn Dex weapons, customizations, and whatnot from previous anniversaries, as well as weapon slots by completing the weekly alerts. Plus, you can earn extra credits and affinity with weekend boosters. Moving on, the addition, I guess, to the game with this update is the Initiate Pack. That includes the Nova Warframe, the Vector Sniper Rifle, an Essential Critical Chance Mod Bundle, Vital Sense Mod, Nova Atomica Skin, the Radio Sign Dana, Alamo Sniper Skin, Classic Saturated Color Palette, 2000 Endo, a 7 day Affinity Booster, and 275 Platinum. Now, moving on. Games optimizations! DE made small optimizations to memory, made optimizations to dynamic lighting that might occur in rare cases, and they optimize peak memory usage while loading with DirectX 12. They also fixed possibly rare and unlikely crashes in DirectX 12, made micro optimizations to DirectX 12 threaded rendering, and micro optimizations to DirectX 12. For the game's overall fixes with 31.3 and to conclude this video. DE fixed Garuda Talons, not retaining skin details and textures in the Arsenal preview. Garuda seeking Talons UI getting stuck on screen after falling into a teleport volume while casting it. A case where you could lose act progress in Nightwave due to a clearing before getting uploaded to the server. More fixes were made towards Nightwave standing appearing doubled in the UI. They fixed textures flickering in the warp tunnels in the approach Fregasa stage of the new war quest, textures flickering in the teleport volume in the camp in the new war quest, more cases of incorrect capitalization for certain missions in the world state window, that being disruption, void missions, Coover survival and sanctuary onslaught. They fix potentially crashing when streaming between levels in railjack if you left some enemies active on a point of interest, certain ephemeras applying to operator faces, the Pakal chest plate floating when equipped on railjack crew members, the scale button being misaligned when placed an object using the Orbiter Decoration menu in Spanish. They fixed an issue with the Epic Launcher where items purchased in the in-game market would only show as owned after re-logging. It will now show that you own the item immediately after purchase, and it also fixes not seeing an item displayed as owned in the detailed view. They fixed a crash when leaving the Orb Valis after free roaming. The Gara Prime, Nidus Prime and Harrow Prime light and dark glyphs having the same name. A crash related to spawning Arcwing using the Arcwing launcher. A script error with Gauss's Thermal Sunder and lastly D fixed the Rise of the Machine Nightwave Act showing as incomplete even after completed when your Necromech is destroyed. That was Hotfix 31.3. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace!